Hi everyone, I have a lovely unboxing to show you, but I thought what I'd do is show you a bracelet I made. I took it the first bag that I got in, so I haven't actually opened the package. Um, but I took the first bag out and I made something with it, and I thought I'd show it to you at the beginning so that you can be inspired by these lovely ceramic beads that I'm going to show you. So let's take a look here at what I need. And my other reason for doing this is um, I love doing wire wrapping, but it's really hard to do on camera, especially with my camera setup. So <laughs> I was like, I was going to try and do it with you. The other thing too is sometimes my unboxings take a long time because I order like lots of colors and lots of sizes and stuff. So they usually take a long time and I've quickly learned that I can't do a bracelet and an unboxing at the same time. So let's go ahead and show you this lovely bracelet. So I started out with this beautiful heart that I got from an Etsy seller in California. And I wish I had ordered more of these. They are just gorgeous. So that's what it looks like. And I had these leftover links from a repurposed uh, bracelet that I got at the thrift store. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of looking for these size um, like chain. But, you know, you're starting to get into some money with that. And I did notice these are really hard to open and close. And before I... Um, put the rubber on my tools I scuff these up so but you can't really see it so it's not that big a deal and this is a bracelet for me so I've been using this guy for two weeks now and I think I posted in the comments uh, on the video that I did this that this is holding up now there is some like falling apart areas but I think that's because I used it before the 24 hour period and it was quite thick um, so I think I might just peel this off and redo it. And somebody mentioned about just dipping it quickly, let it dry, then dipping it again, let it dry, and then let it dry for 24 hours. So, but I mean, I'm still able to use this and it's not scuffing up anything. And actually it helps to hold your metal. So let's try and, I'm going to try and go fast because we'll never get to the unboxing so this is the big part that I wanted to show you these are these lovely beads and they're all very unique because they're ceramic and they're glazed so these are I think four millimeters they might be six actually yeah they're six they're a little bigger than six so they for a six millimeter they're quite they look kind of small but uh, so this one is actually seven I could tell just by looking at it that it was bigger but because these are ceramic you are going to get size differences so be aware of that um, if you're super picky you might have to buy multiples of the same thing so that you can pick through them but I like the different sizes for something like this they're not big enough that it's going to be a big deal so yeah I just went ahead and did a wire wrap and put some daisy spacers with these beads and link them all together and then when I got to this end I did a barrel knot on my leather and then I attached it with this lobster or claw kind of crimp end and it has a little hook you can put your stuff in and before I did that I put one of these closed jump rings on and um, and then I did the dangles and I put the dangles on like before I wrapped it so you do the loop you attach it and then you wrap it while it's on the loop so I did a little um, check glass heart these are the drop crystals that I got from AliExpress before Christmas. I've been itching to use them and just never had anything to put them on yet. And then this beautiful check glass flower. And I think it turned out 
gorgeous. I just love it. And there you go. And you can, I've seen some designs like this on um, Pinterest. And you can put all different colors, all different size. You can kind of put antique stuff on it, really chunky charms. There's all kinds of designs you can do with this. So, yeah. So, let's open the boxes and see what we got. So, there's these here. That's the ones I use. So you get to hear my lovely bags. <laughs> because I'm an old bag. Oh my gosh. These are so beautiful. Some of them, the little, the speckles are even, let's see if I can, they're even bigger than the others. But I like the variation and these are beautiful. So I'll put the link to this seller. I got the whole thing from this seller. So let me... I'm going to put these in a container and I'll try and do the same sizes so here's another one and I couldn't tell you the colors there's so many colors and I got them all <laughs> oh my gosh these are beautiful I love these earthy kind of They are gorgeous. There's there's one here that the glaze stuck out. Let's see. It's it's not super scratchy, but it could be smoothed out. But I might stick that on. Um, when you're making um say a mala uh, with the Buddhists, they like to include imperfections because it reminds us of the fact that we are imperfect so yeah I love that one and there's another one here that's a bit if I was doing like other beads I'd be like oh that's terrible it's wonky and <laughs> but for this I love it I love the imperfections I love the differences and you can say you know what I'm the only person that has this bracelet because this is unique Maybe there's another kind of different one and um, oh this one looks amazing too so yeah these are just beautiful um, one of the things that I do with these is you can string them this is two millimeter leather cord and they string easily now my cord is uh, flattened so that's why it's not going through properly let me cut that see it's nice and loose so you could do a whole bracelet with just these and your white leather and do a barrel knot attach a button and look at that that is gorgeous with your leather so that's the other thing I love about these beads is the big holes because I love working with my leather and I can't use my beads directly on the leather because all the holes are so small but these are let's find the imperfect ones to show you I'll go a little faster with the others but I just at the beginning it's kind of nice to see this so that's that one that's a bit different so you can see they're all different but they're gorgeous and I can't remember what I paid <laughs> I'm like <laughs> The reason you guys get so many videos, and I checked the other day, I had 350 videos. But the reason you get so many videos is because I don't do a whole bunch of research ahead of time. This looks like the same color. So I may have ordered two of each. But you know what? It may be worth putting them in separate containers because... Um, there is a slight color variation and you're going to get that with ceramic 
so it might be a good idea to keep them separate. Oh, the lovely sound of beads coming out of the packages. Oh, these are gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, these are, I, I'm pretty sure these are different. These are like a more green than, yeah, so these are a little bit kind of whitish gray and the others are green. Let's see what they look like. And you're going to get some holes are a bit smaller, so this batch seems like they're a bit smaller, but if you watch, it's still sliding nicely on a 2 millimeter. So they are definitely a little bigger than a 2, two, two millimeter uh, hole, so that's awesome. These are just gorgeous. Look at that. And these are supposed to be... I think these small ones are 50. Some I ordered were 100 in a set. But you know what? Let me uh, check right now. I'll pause this and be right back. Okay, so I looked it up. Um, these ones here are 100 for $2.70 Canadian. And I am noticing I pulled out a few. I did get doubles of everything. So those last two are quite similar now until we go through the whole box I won't know but it's possible that they are supposed to be the same color they're very close but like I said uh, to me that's not a big deal it might be if you have a project that you really want to have it uh, all one color and all to match oh my gosh so this is like a yellow mustard kind of color and they are stunning. And let me um, pull out my red leather to show you the contrast. I might have to clip this. When you clip it, it flattens it so then it makes it wider. Go through the holes. Let me see. There. Let's put a few on so you can see. This will really highlight this gorgeous color. Oh, so kind of earthy, rustic looking. Very boho. And that's kind of where I started is that boho look with malas and yoga jewelry. So. That is gorgeous on that. And there they are, just beautiful. So let's put those aside. Oh, they sound neat too. It's like money. I got money, let's go. Let's go to the candy store. Me and my sister, when we were kids, she was the one who saved her money. And I was the one who spent it. So <laughs> we would get 10 cents. Is it 10 cents? I think. Okay, so it was 10 cents to get on the streetcar. That tells you how old I am. <laughs> so in Toronto, we have streetcars. And uh, so it was 10 cents to get on the streetcar. And so we needed 10 cents for both ways. So my mom would give us 20 cents. But we also, uh, I think it, she gave us a quarter. That's what it was. And we had to, it was to go to the French brownies. So we went to the French church to go for the French brownies. So this is a red. And uh, it's a more like a pale red. And with ceramics, it's hard to get a good red. But actually, I'm looking in the next one. There's another one that looks like it's pretty awesome. Darker red. Um, so yeah, she would give us a quarter to spend and you know, and I'm thinking about it too. I think we had to pay like 10 cents or 25 cents 
um, for the brownies as well for our dues um, but yeah we still we got spending money which was like about 25 cents so of course we'd go to the corner store and they had donuts and it's so funny the corner store the donuts they must have got them from a donut shop and they would just set them out on the counter as you check out and I always had to get a pop and a donut <laughs> so my 25 cents was gone I think it was like I, yeah that's probably the extent of it my sister would save hers and then after a while she'd have enough money I think it was a dollar for one of those kind of uh, chunky books I think they were called and they were like a thick I think they might have been called big little books I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about and when you so they were quite thick and they had all kinds of like cartoons and and reading part of it but on the corner there was a little picture and if you flipped it it did like the the um, stop motion animation it was kind of cool but yeah she would save her money I was always like let's go to the store and spend our money imagine I'm still like that <laughs> so that's the second like I said I ordered two of everything Oh my gosh, this crazy things my sister and I. I just remembering all that. I have a video on YouTube and it might be on a different channel. And I think if you look up Emma DeVoe, it'll come up. There's some films that I made in stop motion and on old uh, black and white hand crank cameras um, but there's also an old eight millimeter film of us at brownies I may have deleted it and I'll tell you why because when we started brownies I guess we would the the leader would say some announcement and then we would raise our hand like this up in the air and recite the um, you know a little thing about what it is to be a brownie and about community and stuff like that but when I look at the old video it looked like we were doing a kind of hail um, symbol we were we do it like this that was I think the two fingers was a symbol for two of something and whatever yeah, so I was like, oh, I don't know if I feel comfortable this being on YouTube anymore. <laughs> Click. I may have deleted it. If not, I'm going to soon. So this is an orange, and it is beautiful. These are gorgeous. Look at that. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, this, one's, this one looks like a um, ladybug. So yeah, definitely be aware that there's some differences in these, but oh, I love the differences. They're gorgeous. Gorgeous! So that is the multiple one. Let's see if I can find some more small ones. There's lots of big ones. There's some blue. Oh, the blue is gorgeous. Yeah, this definitely sounds like you're opening a candy package. <laughs> it's candy for beaters. Let me turn that sticky side down. Maybe it's all going to stick to it. Sorry about that. These are beautiful. So some of them are a little brighter in the blue. But, oh, they're gorgeous. So, uh, you know, besides the differences in the glazing, they are pretty consistent. And, and slight differences in size. And like I said, you are going to get that for these. But other than that, I mean, they are stunning. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to put that in there. And this is a tan color. So even though I spend a lot of money on beads, I, I've grown out of being a spendthrift <laughs> in the sense that I know how to save my money <laughs> quite well. That's why I have lots of discretionary funds. Oh my god, these are gorgeous. Oh, I'm in love with these ones. There's all kinds of differences on these and I just love it. They are stunning. These are beautiful. Let me um, let me put those. This is my gorgeous leather that I got from I think this. These ones I got from Wholesale Jewelry Supply Company. Put a few on here. Yeah, this leather is gorgeous, so yeah, you can see how absolutely stunning that is. You can make some really beautiful stuff with this. You guys are going to love this. If you're into ceramics, some people aren't, so... But, oh my gosh. And I have some bigger ones coming up. And yes. Grab all the small ones. Oh, there's uh, bags that are open. That's, that's, uh, looks like one that we opened already. Color. There's some small ones. Oh, these colors are gorgeous. So I also got the same colors in a larger bead. <laughs> this was on the top of the package, all wrapped up. I'm like, that's a lovely gift. What? <laughs> oh, I don't mean to be mean. Um, this color looks quite different from all the rest and it almost looks like there's two bags on it. So let me show you these first. Put these aside. So these are kind of a, okay so here's one and you know what this is not a big deal because the hole goes right through. I would totally use this as a focal. I love it. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, that is incredible. So the rest are great. There's a bunch of those. Let's see. Oh, let's see if I can get them out. Have them falling all over the floor. So there's some more of those. See if we got any other differences. So I'm putting these in my um, dollar store container. And I'm going to be heading to the dollar store soon. Uh, running out of containers. So I'm just making sure there's no other beads in that box. Okay, let's keep going here. Now some nice and green ones. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, these are beautiful. Oh, look at these. They're pretty. 
was that saying, come here, my pretty. I'm not going to eat you. Is that Hansel and Gretel? <laughs> or the Wicked Witch? They, <laughs> look at that. They totally match this brown leather. That is beautiful. Those are still the six millimeter. Put that in there with those. And then we have some navy blue. Oh, these are lovely. Wow. Gorgeous. Oh, lovely. Let's see on the other. Look at that. That is beautiful. And you can see how easily it slides. That is lovely. Yeah, I think, um, so we had the, uh, the grayish black one already, so I'll stick that in that bin. And then we have this color. Oh, wow, this is nice. So I, I'm going to add the link to this. These ones I mentioned are, um, oh, wow. <gasps> These are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at how it, there's like some oh, um, translucent green going into the blue-ish green, like a light turquoise. That is incredible. I love these guys. Here's another one. You can really see that green glaze. They are beautiful. So these are six millimeter and they're the sizes vary slightly. And the glazing is different on all of them. They're all unique. And they are two dollars and seventy cents Canadian for a hundred. That is a deal. Okay, last of the small ones. And this bag is kind of, it looks dirty, but uh, ceramics have like a powder inside. And that's so that they come off. And uh, so that's what it is. It's just powder that's in. <gasps> so this was a, um, a mixed bag, multicolor. And I'm amazed. Uh, let me see. If I can find one of these blacks, these almost look darker, and maybe it's because they're beside each other. So yet they are slightly darker than the ones I got in the individual package. Uh, put it next to each other, and you can see. But you're going to get variations like that. Like, that's really nitpicky. You can see how this one's a little lighter. But you, I don't think you can tell that even on the camera. I can, but, wow, so this was just a, I just, I don't know why I got the multicolor. Sometimes I find the multicolor, you get colors you don't get in the regular mix. And there's one that was like kind of, these might be in perfects kind of thing. So, but, oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. So I would just, you could do a bracelet just with this stuff, just. You know, string them on, put the different colors. That. Let's put green and uh, white one. And you can put knots in between, you can put charms in between, whatever. So they're beautiful. Okay. 
Now on to the big ones. We'll start with, let's move the leather. The minute I move it out, look at this cellophane bag. It's massive. If I can find the end, there it is. This is like looking for the end of the tape. You know what I do? Is I take the end of the scotch tape, well not scotch tape, but like uh, packing tape, and I twist it and then stick it so there's kind of a knot there. Uh, there's one in here that's broken. Two don't want to come out of the bag. Don't they know it's fun at Emma's place? I know I lost another one somewhere. Oh well. So these are. Let me bring. I think these are eight millimeters. Okay, so these are eight millimeters, and these are three eighty-two Canadian for a hundred. So they are gorgeous. They are really pretty. Oh, this one's interesting because it the so these dark ones the glaze it's almost like the glaze didn't do that little speckly thing, but it has a really interesting sheen on it. And there's the blue, the yellow, kind of an orangey color. Oh, this one's amazing! <gasps> Pink and brown. That's an interesting color combination. I think I've done some um, pink pearls with brown leather and it looks amazing. So this is the one I was saying is broken, but it's just one side. So I'll have to go through and count. There's 10. See, I don't think there's a hundred in these, but is there another package of these? Yeah, there is. That's why. Okay, so I ordered one of the big ones. Oh, some of them I ordered too. Yeah. I guess it depends on the colors. So there's ten. There's another ten. So yeah, these are definitely... Um, 50. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, this one belongs to this set of 10. So there's, and just be aware that you're going to get stuff like that. At this point, I am so in love with these guys, I don't really care. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, so this is a 50 set, and there's a 50 set of this. Oh, they're different colors. Okay, never mind. Ignore me. Let me see. These are all different colors. Yummy. Oh, those are beautiful. They are, there is a, like a bit of a powder, so, oh yeah, oh, yeah. look at this. As soon as I wiped it off, it just blew up. It's so shiny and nice. I am going to get a head pin and see. I had my head pin here, but pff, I'm a little over the place today. See if I can get you to see. I want you to see the little speckles in here. But it's hard to look at that. So on this side, there's, oh, it's just incredible. It's, it's hard to see. That's awesome. 
There is, they are so beautiful. Wow. Get another one that's really... Yeah, so you can see how it's dusty, but I just wipe it with my finger and it comes off. It's just dust from the ceramic. And this, because it's white, I, don't, I guess it's regular ceramic. I was thinking it might be porcelain, but I doubt it. Porcelain's a lot harder to manipulate. That is gorgeous. <gasps> These are unbelievable. So, so beautiful. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> looky, looky. <gasps> look at that. Wow. I'm going to be sitting here just staring at these things. So yeah, this is a more pinky red. So good to know, like there's the variation in the, the red colors are very, um, very minute. So if you can't decide what to get, then hopefully this will help you. Because here's the thing, I've been looking at these forever and never come across anybody doing an unboxing of them. So I was like, ah, uh, I finally said I had to bite the bullet. And they, um, they're gorgeous. So this is kind of a, a pinky brown and I love it. And there's, again, there's a, a lot of variation in these guys. So if that's not your thing, then definitely be warned. So there's a really bright one, and then you've got the faint ones. But the rest are all kind of this faint pink, and they're beautiful. And this is the third kind of red color. So this is orange. I, I thought it was red from the package. It's orange. Oh my god. It's beautiful. And there's another one of these. So this must be when they're dipping the glaze. You get this line. So I actually like those. I would definitely kind of... I would do a bracelet with a mixture of them, but I would also do one and try and pick out those ones and just highlight those. So these are beautiful. And you might get different quality, like as for the glazing, you might want a better consistency, but I am just so happy with these. They're beautiful. And the fact that they fit on my leather is just super duper. And we've got the large brown ones. My hands are getting dusty from handling them. <gasps> oh, okay, you know, these are probably my favorite so far these colors these are really vibrant look at this one i would use that as a focal look at that that's the all-seeing eye <laughs> or a flower that is beautiful beautiful Okay, favorite, favorite. Although I love mustard color. So it's kind of a yellowy brown color. And these are beautiful. Let's see what this one looks like. They are gorgeous. Um, this took a long time to come. So I had, so this is another one of the multicolored large ones. We'll put those aside. I'll save the crinkly one for last. <laughs> we have a, 
a runaway, a rogue bead. Let's see if we can pull that one out. This one is goes in a different color, but it's beautiful. <gasps> Look at that. Oh wow, these are amazing. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, it took a long time to come, and like two months or more. And I started wondering what was going on, so I went and took a look. And I get notifications of everything, so I got notification that this order was going to end. So here's the thing with AliExpress. If you get an order and you confirm that you received it, by doing that, you stop the process of being able to return it. So I never confirm that I received an order because I could get an order, unbox it, look at it, everything's fine. And then a month later or a couple of weeks later, I go to work with it and it's defective or I can't, you know, things break easily or the colors are wrong. Then if I've confirmed, I cannot do a return on it. So I never confirm. So in the meantime, I get notices from AliExpress all the time say, for each item saying, sorry, uh, bad news, your order is about to end. And you can go in at that point and have it extended if there's a problem, like if you haven't received it yet, or if you have the product and um, there's a problem and you need to do a issue with it. This one's a little wonky. But again, I love it, but I wouldn't use it along with the others. It's really small and it's uh, the glazing is quite different. So but these are beautiful. So yeah, I um, I got one of those notice for this and I went and I looked and I was like, oh my gosh, what the heck? So I sent the um, the guy a message because it was quite a large order. So I think it was like $50 or something like that. For everything and um, and I said to him you know I haven't received it yet and the same day that I put that message out for him I got it in the mail so I just sent him a new message saying you know just ignore the above I received it today thank you so these are beautiful I'm keeping them I don't know if I could share sharing's nice Oh, it's not that I, I love sharing my stuff, but I'm such a bad hoarder. I'm going to put that one back in there. I might do a count of these. And these are beautiful. Okay, so I think these are probably my <laughs> The These brown ones and these ones. My faves. They're all my faves. That's why I ordered them. I, I've only had them in my cart for since I ever, since I discovered AliExpress like oh more than a year ago. So yeah, these are beautiful. Let's get the leather out for this one. This is a uh, put the leather out so you can kind of see it against the. They are beautiful. Just lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, I have one more to go. This is the navy. And this is for all my peeps that enjoy the crinkling sound. This I was going to save this to do an SMR video. I still might because I you know, have lots of these bags. Lots of cellophane. My wife sees my garbage can and she's like, Ooh, you're not, your hobby's not very environmentally friendly. <laughs> like, well... I guess they could wrap it in paper. These are beautiful. They're not as vibrant as uh, like some of the other colors, but they're still just gorgeous. So that is my unboxing of my ceramic beads. 
So I probably have stuff in the mail that's coming through orders in the mailbox right now. So you might see those. But I have a Swarovski order sitting on my desk. And I'm going to do that. But I have a little bit of homework to do with that one because I need to uh, make sure that I place orders with that person again because I'm telling you right now, the minute that you see Peggy's stuff from her store, you are going to buy her out. <laughs> she is so many size. La, 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 la. Um, yeah, so I have to do a few more things and then I'll do the unboxing of the Swarovskis and I have to get some oxygen because I'm going to pass out. <laughs> You're going to flip when you see them. <laughs> so just remember you can make some lovely jewelry with these gorgeous, let me move these guys back with this gorgeous ceramic beads that's how this took me like 20 minutes half an hour to make most of it was picking stuff out once I had all the supplies it was so easy to make so yeah that's how lovely these beautiful things are so I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next video stay safe everyone bye for now